the New Zealand government's bold proposal to restructure our vocational education system would be made more sustainable and cost-effective by adopting open education solutions. A small investment in open education will achieve savings of hundreds of millions of dollars in government costs and reduce student debt for New Zealand learners. Educational materials developed using taxpayer funding should be released under an open licence for the benefit of all New Zealanders. New Zealand's existing Government Open Access Licensing Framework, or NZ Goal for short, provides the vehicle for government to eliminate unnecessary duplication of educational resources simply by extending the provisions of NZ Goal to mandate open licensing for the ITP sector. Government could also amend the funding formula to cater for tuition and assessment only components. Used in conjunction with open education courses, government could thereby improve cost efficiency for the sector by funding services used rather than by blanket funding services not needed by all learners. Over the last decade, New Zealand has already established a global leadership role in the implementation of open education solutions through the development and operation of the OERU. No form of educational provision is more cost-effective, more scalable and more sustainable than open education. It will reduce government costs in providing vocational education online and supporting blended learning initiatives. The OERU International Partnership has pioneered a cost-effective online delivery model to reduce government cost. Quality accredited online courses are assembled from open source materials for independent study with peer learning support. Learners study for free and only pay for assessment services if and when ready to gain academic credit towards approved qualifications. OERU data shows that the operational cost of a full year of study, comprising open online courses, can be provided for as little as the minimum government grant for 25 equivalent full-time students. Because OERU is powered solely by open source technologies, existing data demonstrate that the model could easily scale to 15,000 learners without corresponding increases in the fixed cost of provision. There are many New Zealanders who can study online independently by using high-quality materials with peer learning support. If, say, 5% of learners opt in to an assessment-only model, at current funding levels this would generate government savings of $30 million per annum in tuition grants alone. Moreover, these high-quality open courses will also be available for unrestricted reuse to support blended learning options in support of face-to-face -face teaching on campus. By reducing student debt, open education makes study more affordable and accessible for all learners, especially for non-traditional learners seeking access to vocational education. Using open education, there is zero cost for learning materials for learners who don't need to buy expensive textbooks or software licences. There are many learners who cannot participate in vocational education due to work or personal commitments. Some can't afford student fees or are not in a financial position to take on student debt to meet the standard full tuition costs. The OERU assessment only model will save these learners 60% in student fees. Open education widens affordable education options for non-traditional learners, including mature adults who are reskilling for new careers, international learners commencing study offshore before arriving in New Zealand, or try-before-you-buy learners trialling vocational education for the first time. Consistent with government's proposals for core curriculum, Adoption of the OERU's Learning in a Digital Age microcourses could provide the opportunity to build capability and essential skills for all students embarking on post-secondary study in the 21st century. This single initiative could generate savings of $68 million in associated government subsidy for tuition, and that's just one example. Using open education, government has the opportunity to further increase return on investment by amending the funding formula to provide for tuition and assessment-only components. 
This could extend fees-free learning for all vocational levels for independent study learners. Based on the application of world-class expertise in using open source, cloud-based technologies for cooperative course design, development and delivery, New Zealand has established a global leadership role in transnational micro-credentialing. Our leadership in open education is evidenced by the award of a UNESCO Chair in Open Educational Resources to Otago Polytechnic, one of only two UNESCO Chairs in New Zealand. The OERU International Innovation Partnership is headquartered in Dunedin with demonstrated cost efficiencies in hosting a global cloud-based technology infrastructure for under $10,000 per annum. An investment of $300,000 to $500,000 per year to establish a centre of vocational excellence in open education will generate sector-wide savings in excess of $98 million per annum and minimise the risk of OERU headquarters relocating offshore.